Hello and welcome to the Cozy Painter. My name is Sky, and today I'm going to be converting and painting a space marine to look like the country singer Orville Peck in order to celebrate Pride Month and promote inclusivity in the hobby. Warhammer is bigger now than at any point in the franchise's 40 year history. With multiple online shows, an ever-growing catalog of video games, as well as a growing player base at your local hobby store, new potential fans are going to be curious about our little plastic soldiers. As the hobby grows, we have the opportunity to act as ambassadors. We can make sure that a potential new hobbyist's first experience is a positive one. I want to extend a welcoming hand to our LGBTQ friends and potential new friends, which is why this year I'm supporting the Fabulous Marines event for Pride Month. The Fabulous Marines event is a way to show our LGBTQ hobbyists that we are dedicated to providing a welcoming and safe environment for them. The event also serves as a fundraiser for the Trevor Project, the world's largest suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ youth. It sounds like a win-win to me, so let's get to the mini. For the purposes of this event, I'm going to remove his weapons. We want our marine to be festive, a little less grim than usual. I'm also going to cut away his gorget to make room for some headgear later. I fill in some gaps with green stuff as well as create a flat surface on his backpack. Now we begin the work of transforming this marine into Orville Peck. Orville Peck is a contemporary country music singer with a smooth deep voice whose music is reminiscent of later Elvis or Roy Orbison. His fringed mask hides his identity, but not his sexuality. Orville Peck is openly gay. He believes that the themes of isolation, heartbreak, and disappointment found in country music are inherent in the LGBT experience. His songs, encouraging emotional depth and expression by men, fly in the face of the traditionally toxic macho image that the genre likes to present itself as. Not to mention that the music is just really good. It's time to make the fringe mask for this marine. I mix milliput and green stuff in about a 50-50 ratio and start cutting out the rectangular shape. I'm inexperienced with sculpting, so it took a couple tries to get the mask right. I apply his little cowboy hat so I can better place the mask. I learned from the YouTube channel Last Light Creative to let the green stuff cure for over an hour before sculpting it for an easier time. I also remembered that I didn't have to make the mask from a single piece. This conversion will be based on Orville's outfit from this image, promoting his new album Bronco, so we'll need to sculpt a little scarf for him. A tiny 3D printed microphone goes into one hand, and the cord will rest in the other. I felt that he needed a speaker for the microphone, so I made a servo skull carrying one. I like how both the servo skull and the speaker mirror the fringed mask motif. Now it's time to paint. I spray the model with Steinal Res Black Primer through the airbrush. I base coat all over with a dark blue, building up the highlights into a lighter blue targeting the upward facing areas. Next, I base coat the black bits, like the mask and rubber tubing. After that, I base coat his hat, which takes upwards of 5 layers. After that, I begin with the red scarf and chest piece. I then go back and panel line with more black. For the metallics, I wanted to try something that I saw on Vincent Vertrella's YouTube channel. 
mixing Vallejo metal color with artist inks. The metal color goes on incredibly smooth, easy to the point where I don't think I'll ever buy Lead Belcher again. Now I begin highlighting the red, catching the end of each feather in the upward facing surfaces of the scarf. Once the highlights are done, I stipple blue polka dots onto the scarf and then highlight those dots where appropriate. The hat needed more definition, so I painted a stripe near the base. I then highlighted and glazed in color variation. Next, I highlight the black masks and tubing. After that, I go back and highlight all of the metallics. A big challenge was the freehand on the backpack. Like the outfit I'm referencing, his backpack will have the word Bronco written on it. This took several attempts to get something that I liked. I'm going to go simple with the eyes that they show up more clearly behind the black mask. Now, I need to make a whole bunch of equal size silver dots, so I tried using a metallic sharpie, something that I once heard about on the Independent Characters podcast. Overall, this worked pretty well, but a finer tip would have made things a lot easier. Now, I finish making Orville's iconic mask, using sewing thread dipped in watered down PVA glue to stiffen it up. A quick brown paint job on the base means the model's done. This project was a lot of fun. Translating one of my favorite artists into a 40k model was an interesting challenge. Although this model doesn't have a rainbow motif, I painted it with love and a desire to create a safe and welcoming environment for LGBTQ people in the hobby or for those who are hobby curious. June is Pride Month, an opportunity to celebrate one's LGBTQ identity and community, as well as commemorate those who fought and bled for the right to do so. According to the BBC, simply being gay is currently illegal in over 69 countries around the world. It wasn't until the year 2020 that the US Supreme Court considered sexual orientation and gender identity as protected classes against employment discrimination. As the impending reversal of Roe v. Wade teaches us, a Supreme Court ruling is not sacred. We cannot become complacent in the fight for tolerance and equality. As allies, we must be mindful and create space for marginalized groups to flourish. In that spirit, I humbly offer this small token and hopes that it'll foster an environment in the hobby where people feel safe to be themselves. I'll also be making a donation to the Trevor Project, and I would encourage you to do so as well if you have the means. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to where you can donate. Be sure to check out the hashtags FabulousMarines and FabulousMarines2022 to see the amazing models that the community has been working on for this event. I want to thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been Sky from The Cozy Painter, and until next time, Stay fabulous.